Hi, this is Frank Donald from Gadgetronics. Welcome to another series of Atani 85 microcontroller. In this episode, we are going to talk about GPIO module of Atani 85 microcontroller. GPIO, General Purpose Input Output, is one of the most basic things when it comes to a microcontroller. If you are already aware or if you have already worked with AVR type of AVR series microcontroller, then you you might have already known about how to activate and deactivate GPIO pins. So if you are not aware of AVR microcontroller family, so this my video might be useful to you. Let's get into the video. The actual physical pins in the microcontroller is referred to as GPIO pins. So it is also known as general purpose input output pins. So the main function of these GPIO pins is that it can either act as an output or it can act as an input. So it can either activate a module or activate a motor or activate a LED or it can take input from a button or any other sensor and uh, let the microcontroller process those inputs. So in order to use these GPI opens in a microcontroller, there are three major registers that is associated with it. So one is port P, which is port P data register. It is actually used to write one or write activate or deactivate the GPIO output. So this decides the data direction. So the data direction register is the key here and it is the first register we access in order to use the GPIO opens. So when you need to use, let's say we need to use PB0. So this is a PB0 pin and we need to use it and we need to use it as an output so in order to do that we need to write one to this bit ddb0 pin this will tell the register that we intend to use the pb0 as an output so as a result the pb0 will be activated activated as an output and when next comes the port p data register so when we need to activate the output that is activate the pb0 pin we need to write one to this port p uh, port P0 pin. So this is setting the data register. It This is actually deciding, actually setting the PB0 pin as an output. This is actually activating or deactivating the output. This is, you need to understand the difference between these two registers. This is telling the, re, telling the microcontroller use PB0 as an output. This is actually um, uh, activating or modifying the value from the PB0. So if you have written, if you have connected a small LED to this PB0, it means when writing one, the LED will light up. When writing zero, the LED will uh, will, will not light up. So DDRB is just uh, setting it as an output or as an input. On the other hand, if you intend to use PB1 as an input, you need to write zero to it. So in initial value, it will be zero. So if you intend to use any pin as an input, there is no need to write exclusively to this bits so uh, it is it will be already configured as an input here so when we are using it as an input when we are using a particular pin as an input we need to use a pin b port input pin address register so what here we are going to do is when we are going to poll or we are going to read the value so we are going to use pb1 as an input pin here so in this case we will be reading pin b1 register this this bit in this register we need to read this to understand the state of it either it is an output or as an input i believe that this uh, this has clarified how these three register the usage of these three registers for gpio uh, is clear now let's take a look at the sample code to understand this further better Let's take a look at the sample code for using GPIO as output. Here you can see the DDRB register is used to set the direction of DDP5. So here we are going to use the PB5 as a output pin to turn on a LED which is connected to it with use with a one one second delay between it. So we are going to use it use the DDRB register to set the direction of pb5 as output and then using the port p register we are going to uh, turn the led on and off by writing one and writing zero to it so this is how the basically gpi works 
On the other hand, if you want to use the GPIO as input, we have to declare the GPIO pin as input using DDRB register. Consider this circuit where PB3 is used in an, was an input with the push button connected to it and PB4 is used as an output here. So if you take a look at the sample code here, uh, you can see the DDRB bit in, of D, in DDRB register is uh, written as zero in order to declare this pin as input. Whereas the DDRB4 bit which is connected to PB4 is written as one to act it to make it act like an output so using the pin b register the other register which is used to read the value read the input using gpio pins is being read here using this flag uh, bit and this bit is later being read and the condition of pb4 that uh, the gpio output is being toggled based on this input so this is a simple uh, code to show how this GPIO pin is being configured and how it works. I have left the links in the description so you can check out this sample codes. Hope this video was useful to you. If you have any queries or doubts, leave them in the comment section below. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up and do subscribe to our channel. There are more Atini 85 tutorial videos to come. Thanks for watching. See you next time.